Hey guys, I'm Nick. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install an aftermarket steering wheel onto your Thrustmaster T300RS sim racing wheel and also how to install a few other modification items that are available from www.moto-obscura.com The first thing we need to do is remove the stock steering wheel from the base and you can do that by loosening this set screw and by unscrewing the mounting collar. This is everything that you need to do the full upgrade of your Thrustmaster T300RS steering wheel. First of all, we have the original wheel with the original shift paddles. We removed it from the wheelbase already. You have your steering wheel adapter that allows us to mount any 70 millimeter uh, bolt pattern steering wheel to the Thrustmaster steering wheel hub. We've got the extended paddle shifters. And we also have these two powerful magnets with the uh, double sided tape already applied. The tools that you need are a number one Phillips screwdriver a 2.5 millimeter allen wrench and a 3 millimeter allen wrench. The first step is to take the stock steering wheel apart. After you remove the six screws from the front, there are three additional Phillips screws on the back that hold the wheel to the hub. So you may have seen that this little spring fell out of this pocket and also the directional keys fell out of the hub. We can uh, set those to the side because we're not going to need them. Now there are four Phillips screws on the back of the hub that we need to remove. Now you can lift the front face of the hub off and carefully remove the cable. and pull off the steering wheel mount. Now it's time to remove the spring caps from either side. There's four silver screws, Phillips screws, on each side that we need to remove. Finally, there's a plastic hinge mechanism that is screwed into the metal paddle shifter. We need to remove that. Now the paddle shifters will just fall right out of the plastic housing. Slide the paddle shifters in through the slots on the housing. Now we need to attach the plastic hinge to the new paddle shifter. The next step is to reattach the spring caps. Now if you're planning on doing the magnet mod, do not put the springs back in. If you aren't doing the magnet mod, then put the springs back in.
Now flip the housing over. It's time to install the magnets. These replace the springs on the paddle shifters to give a better, more tactile feel. Uh, now you need to be very careful with these magnets because they're extremely powerful. They come with a se separator and the tape is already applied. The separator is to make it easier to separate the two magnets. Take one magnet and peel the backing off of the double-sided tape. Now very carefully place the magnet so that this edge is flush with this edge of the casing. Once it's stuck, you're not going to be able to reposition it very much, so make sure you get it right the first time. Now do the same with the other side. Now take the mounting thread, put the wire through the main hole in the middle, and make sure that this notch lines up with the notch on the top of the hub. Reattach the wire. set the front of the hub onto the back casing. With the housing flipped over, it's time to put those four Phillips screws back into the back of the casing. Now it's time to attach the adapter ring. You want to align it so that the countersunk holes correspond to these three holes that have this large embossed section. Now take the long screws that are supplied with the kit and thread them into the countersunk holes. They don't need to be super tight, but you just want them to be pretty snug. Now take the steering wheel you're going to be installing and place it over the adapter ring. Take the three short screws that are supplied with the kit and you're going to place them in the top hole and these two bottom holes. And now you're done. Reattach the steering wheel to the steering wheel base the same way you removed it with the threaded collar. And after it's threaded on there and it's snug, tighten the set screw. Uh, 